you know, not a whole, a whole lot of nothing, basically, is what's going on. But I got more more hits on the Boba Fett thing. So I think Boba Fett is in for uh, Mando 4. Hey, what's going on, everyone? So from what you just saw from that clip there from makingstarwars.net, go check them out on YouTube. There's a rumor going around that Boba Fett will be making a return in The Mandalorian Season 4. And let me just stress that this is just a rumor at the current moment. We don't know this for sure, but I think it makes a lot of sense considering, you know, there's there's a good amount of backlash for Boba Fett not being in The Mandalorian Season 3, which really didn't make a lot of sense for a lot of us. I mean, the reclaiming of Mandalore, obviously that was a great story between, you know, Bo-Katan and Din boat in action and whatnot but it didn't really feel right without boba fett in the picture i feel like you know he had to be a piece of the puzzle in you know reclaiming mandalore and potentially in the contention for the throne but yeah even in an interview here tomorrow morrison explains how nobody rung him up about mandalore in season three and he was upset about that like he was supposed to be in it but nobody gave him the call to be in it it's almost like a budgeting problem or a lack of effort like what's going on so there's a q a at supernova comic-con where they inquired about his lack of appearance in mandalorian season three and um he said i was supposed to be in mandalorian season three but nobody rang me i was waiting for the phone call in new zealand i mean bro that's just so low i mean this is kind of old news at this point but worth it to catch up but he also went on to say about the book of Boba Fett that that mando guy stole a few chapters of my book it was painful watching him turn up with some black new lethal sword the way he turned up in my book of boba Fett, he just destroyed everybody i'm sure this guy is ruining my show but i couldn't say anything i'm not the writer so i have to bear it i guess and and coming from an actor who played on the set that that is pretty tough criticism um, of Book of Boba Fett. Like, you know, normally actors aren't going to say that much, especially that soon after a project. And honestly, him saying that, like, that kind of concerned me that he might not be getting back. But with Tomorrow Morrison being confirmed to be in Ahsoka as Rex, and then hearing this news of him potentially being in Season 4 of Mandalorian, things might be different now. But yeah. So now, I don't know if this is actually true or not, but again, it would make a lot of sense. Um, I mean... I, I think all of us love Tomorrow Morrison and what he's done and uh, the com confirmation that he'll be back in Ahsoka as Captain Rex is just great news. If you didn't see that the other day, we covered that. But I kind of want to talk about just how, how Boba Fett could be in season four. And it sounds like this is, you know, the big stars in that they're definitely the real deal. Jason, he definitely gives some good inside scoops. So this isn't, although it's a rumor, this is pretty likely and it would make sense. I mean, based on what was going on. Now, let's talk about how maybe Boba Fett and theorize a bit. And I want to hear some of your guys' thoughts in the comments, how you think Boba Fett might come into play and then how this might interact with Din Djarin and Bo-Katan. Um, moving forward and how that might impact them to connect as well so let's get into it so where we last left off at the end of the book of boba fett boba fett uh, had apparently killed cad bane and he's you know the daimo daimo is that how you say it of the city of mas Espa, working with fennec shand but they defeated their current you know threat of cad bane and other rival gangs in the area and kind of drove them out and drove the spice out of the city you know making the streets of mas espa safer so and you know he rides a rancor of course and cab vanth is saved and we get that at that end credit scene so i mean that kind of hinted at in itself we'd be seeing at least cab vanth and if we're gonna see cab cab vanth i would like to see boba fett as well obviously and, and fennec shan um but yeah i mean mandalorian season four i think we're gonna it's gonna start off with din and grogu following them but i'm sure uh there could be so how din could get onto tatooine is maybe he runs into a problem with his ship or he just wants to make more modifications and from there he goes to mas Espa to talk with peli mato to get those repairs or modifications to his n1 naboo starfighter and then maybe something goes down. Maybe there's a, a re-emergence of some kind of rival game trying to re-take over. That could end up happening while Din is there. Or, you know, maybe Boba Fett just happens to be there. Maybe Boba Fett's getting bored of, you know, ruling and wants to talk with Din and 
join in uh, with Din and Grogu on some of their bounty hunter missions. That could be an interesting dynamic, seeing Din and Boba Fett back in, in action together. I mean, Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 6, when Boba Fett emerges and just seeing him go to town on those stormtroopers, that was almost my favorite episode of Mandalorian in general. At the time it was, but obviously Season 2 finale was crazy. Um, but I could see them teaming up to potentially and then making an appearance in the Outer Rim since, you know, Tattoo is somewhat close to Mandalore and Outer Rim, maybe. I mean, they're both in the Outer Rim. I guess I'd have to look at a map to know for sure. I'm not up to date on my galaxy maps of uh, of Star Wars as much as I should be, to be honest. That would, that would be interesting to learn more, per se. But I could see them potentially teaming up and doing some bounties together because, um, you know, Boba and Fennec maybe are bored of ruling and they can leave Cobb Vance to rule in their stead as Daimo, Intermin Daimo. And maybe Captain Carson reports that things are starting to heat up in the Outer Rim near Mandalore again with the emergence of someone like Eli Vanto from Thrawn's fleet or captain pelion as well could also show up and all of a sudden you know similar to the fanfic i had done for season four they want to get rid of the mandalorians due to the i mean they're dangerous worries as is but the value of the beskar that the beskar holds itself is just you know a super valuable weapon and gideon saw that but he didn't harness it enough in the Mandalorian to prevail, obviously, in Season 3. But maybe there's a new emergence, some kind of Thrawn motivated, not Thrawn himself in Season 4, maybe, but um, maybe some allies of Thrawn that show up in that area. And somehow on one of these bounty missions, Din and Boba find this out and then they maybe go warn Mandalore, similar to how I did in the, in the fanfic. Otherwise, maybe Boba Fett doesn't show up at all till later in the season when there's kind of a call to arms to just you know, defend Mandalore or something else. But what I would love to see, you know, what I actually would really like to see is, you know, how the Trandoshans on Tatooine were one of the big rival gangs that Din had to defeat. I think this would be a perfect time for Bosk to make a reappearance maybe in either Book of Boba Fett season two or Mandalore in season four to some extent, you know, wanting revenge. Din has to get involved because there's a big, what is Din not going to get involved if this Mandalorian, let's be honest, but would it not be cool to see Bosk or another bounty hunter make a return let's be honest do we really think that cad bane is actually dead i don't know his droid is pretty handy i'm pretty sure his droid probably saved his life it's fine if he stays dead i mean most characters in star wars don't stay dead though so i gotta make the point and you know cad bane he's a slippery one he's getting he was getting old though but i would like to see bosk show up unless um, he's already dead and i don't know that but i feel like he could also i want hondo like whether he's in ahsoka skeleton crew or something we need hondo this effort is no longer profitable i do want to hear your guys's thoughts though in the comments if boba fett would show up how could he impact mandalore in season four and in what manner would he do so you know would he affect bo din in any way would he cause din and bo to get back together like uh some kind of third party thing where they have to all kind of get back together to deal with a threat let me know drop a like subscribe for more videos and i hope you have a great day everyone